Now available in paperback and coming to Kindle Unlimited, John Haynes, Dark Succubus, the man who rules the world, is tempted by a sultry succubus in this all-new John Haynes series adventure. Get John Haynes, Dark Succubus in paperback or pre-order on Kindle Unlimited today. Woke Gillette is at it again, promoting identity politics in ads for its products. And in a brand new ad for Gillette Razors, it shows a black father teaching his transgender daughter how to shave. And with this ad, it's so woke, it's supposed to be promoting so-called diversity, but it actually promotes a whole host of racism in a passive aggressive manner. Now, when it comes down to these ads, like your Gillette is producing right now, it continues in a trend of promoting the emasculation of the heterosexual black man and the degradation of the heterosexual black man by presenting the black man in a negative light. And the way this Gillette ad presents the black man in a negative light is in a passive aggressive fashion. Yes, passively, they are promoting diversity by showing you this black family inside of an ad, but aggressively, they go out of their way to find ways to emasculate that black man and devalue his black masculinity. And the way they devalue this black man and his heterosexual black masculinity is by showing this black male father going out of his way to go and shave, help this young woman shave her face. And by doing this passively, yes, they're promoting their idea of diversity, but in actuality, they are devaluing black heterosexual masculinity and heterosexual black manhood by showing this black man teaching this black woman how to shave in her transition into transgenderism, which shows how they are devaluing actual black masculinity and actual black manhood, and moreover, even worse, devaluing black femininity and black female femalehood. Because when you have this masculine acting female, this is an old stereotype being perpetuated about black women in that when it comes down to many of these racists out here, they often see the black woman as acting masculine and showing a black woman on screen going out and shaving her face. This is about passive aggressively showing an, a stereotype that many racists have regarding the black woman and that they believe that the black woman acts masculine and now showing the black woman shaving this pr pr breathes brand new life into the racist stereotypes that many of these racist and white supremacists have about black women but many black women will never connect the dots and see how they are being insulted by the Gillette Corporation with this ad because this ad is extremely insulting to both black men and black women because one again it devalues black masculinity in saying that black masculinity is not distinct and it says that black manhood is not distinct and something that needs to be valued and appreciated and that both black masculinity is something that can be transferred to a female and it's something that females have innate in them. So that's basically an insult to all black men and it's regarding black manhood and black masculinity. And it's something that black people should really stand up against because when it comes down to these kinds of woke ads, they always target us first with this kind of imagery. And I find it quite troubling that they always target black people with this type of imagery first 
because you never see them talking about, oh, let's have the white girl go out here and say she's a transgender transforming herself into a man and have a white father go out here and help her shave her face. And that's by design because these racists want us to be the face of their campaign to promote these ideas to the world. And the reason why they want black people to be the face of this um, transgender narrative is because they want black people to erase themselves and they know that black men and black women who go down the transgender route, these are people who will not be able to reproduce and have children. So with this type of ad, what they want to do is socially engineer the idea that actual black masculinity and actual black femininity don't have any value and promote the idea that being transgender is socially normal and socially acceptable for black people to go out here and support. Even though the statistics say that only 0.6% of the American population is transgender, what they want to do is promote this as an idea in the black community and promote it as an idea of a social norm in the same way they want to promote the effeminization of the black man and the homosexualization of the black man in an effort to try to get black people to start seeing black men and black women as attractive and to stop heterosexual black male and black female relations. That's what these type of ads are all about and they are used in conjunction with these other interracial relationship ads that we see where they depict white men with black women to get black people to stop loving themselves and stop seeing each other as partners in a healthy relationship. These ads are all designed to socially engineer ideas in people's minds and as they buy these products they believe that this is how they're supposed to behave and this is how they are supposed to act. And again, I find it quite troubling that in our media we don't see many images of heterosexual black men and heterosexual black women in relationships these days, whether it be in these movies, whether it be in ads, whether it be in television shows, we don't get to see those depictions of heterosexual black man and black woman relationships and heterosexual black on black love. And when I take a critical look at this woke Gillette ad, I see the racism being presented to black people from the far left and shows us that the far left is just as suprem white supremacist as the far right. And that's a reason why black people shouldn't be out here buying Gillette razors because when it comes down to this Gillette Corporation in their attempt to show how woke they are, they are only showing us just how racist they are. And this ad comes out right after an ad before, which was supposed to be about so-called body positivity featuring an obese woman, and the um, infamous ad, which was supposed to be so supportive of women and the Me Too movement, which wound up alienating so many men that Gillette's sales dropped by 20%. And if Gillette wants to show how woke it is to the black community by presenting a racist depiction of black people and an image that degrades the black male image and the black female image, then we need to do what white men did and not buy Gillette razors anymore. I know I'm not buying any more Gillette razors after that ad which insulted men and manhood and I won't be buying any more, even more so, after seeing the racist way they depicted a black man and degraded not only the image of black masculinity 
and black manhood, but also degraded our sisters in trying to show a masculine image of a woman and trying to, to take away our black women's femininity with this racist ad. So I, I urge every black person to go out here and not buy any Gillette razors because if Gillette wants to go get woke, then all of us brothers and the sisters in the community need to make sure that they go broke because if a company cannot show respect to people and just go out here and sell an ad to its customers without trying to force politics down our throat, then we don't need to support that company at all. Because when I want to, pro when I go out here and I buy a razor, I want to know if that razor can actually shave my face and not give me razor bumps and give me a good, clean, smooth shave. That's all I want to know about your product. I don't care about your politics. I don't care about your social justice. And when it comes down to Gillette, what they need to do is get off of this whole social justice narrative and get back to selling razors to people all across the globe. Because if they continue on this whole woke campaign, then I guarantee you they are going to be broke in less than two to three years. I'm getting. I'm trying to raise funds to publish the first ISIS graphic novel, and if you could donate a dollar to the Patreon, I would re it would really help me in my efforts to get that graphic novel out here. And if you want to try some of my SJS Direct publications, which do not feature any social justice or identity politics, you can pick up the ISIS series, the e Steam series, the John Haynes series, the Spinsterella trilogy, and my men's issues books like Stop Simpin', The Man Crisis, and books like Why 70% of Black Women Are Single on Amazon.com by clicking the link in the description box. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available in paperback and Kindle Unlimited, E-Steam Goddess of. Elle's aspiring angel takes on a demonic dominatrix in this action-packed all-new E-Steam series adventure. Get E-Steam Goddess of in paperback and Kindle Unlimited today.